yeah, rainfall really did hold off for both weekends and not much rain in the forecast over the next several days, but the heat will be building. The only rain that we're able to squeeze out a few little light showers here and there up on the North Shore had a few more earlier this afternoon and that'll be about it. So for the next couple of days, rain chances less than 10%. So really don't mention it as the vast majority of us will see no rainfall mix of sun and clouds as we just get the fair weather cumulus and a few of those are able to build up and produce a little bit of rain. As far as our model goes, usually does look to be a little bit more aggressive with coverage has not been nearly that high and over the course of the next few days, really right through Thursday, we'll keep that onshore wind mix of sun and clouds and little if any rainfall through Thursday, Friday, some changes coming today's high 87 degrees. So we are still running above average, not quite to the 90s just yet. But as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, Lakefront Airport did hit 90 degrees uh, for the first time this year and probably more to come in the coming days. Right now, partly cloudy skies, a little bit of a breeze at times, so it does help us out somewhat. 14 mile an hour wind sustained. They've been gusting a little bit higher at times, but dew point 70s. That is the uncomfortable feel that we'll have to tolerate through Thursday, but then some relief on the way with our temperatures in the mid upper 80s and dew points generally all in the 70s. It does give us a heat index into the low 90s. So even though we didn't officially hit 90 degrees at Kenner, it still feels like the low 90s. So all we have to help with a bit of relief is maybe a passing cloud for some shade and a wind a breezy conditions will be with us for the next couple of days. Far different story up to our north where there is a high level risk of severe weather from Oklahoma into Kansas. This is not something we see very often that high level risk. Thankfully, so far they've all been just at the severe thunderstorm with a few tornadoes warnings being issued, but so far I've not really seen that widespread outbreak that could change as we continue through the later evening hours. But as of right now, this is going to be kind of an ongoing severe weather threat across the plains and eventually into the Midwest. Thanks to the upper pattern, big upper level low out there at the moment. We'll see another kind of uh, almost like the spokes in a wheel, another system kind of moving through and keeping a more active pattern going in through the next several days. Then as we approach Friday, it doesn't look like much. Here's a trough around the Ohio to Tennessee Valley. This upper trough is going to push a front through here and with it a big temperature drop as highs will be at or below average as opposed to the next few days. We're going to be flirting with record type temperatures. Not only do the temperatures coming down, the humidity is coming down. So this more summer like feel will feel a little bit more spring like for the weekend starting Friday going through the weekend. So that includes Mother's Day and then into early next week. We'll gradually start to see those dew points coming back early next week, but doesn't look like we'll see the 70s until maybe later in the week. We are mentioning eventually hitting that first 90 at Kenner on average. That first date is May 18th. It looks very likely we'll, we'll, we will uh, surpass that or, or hit it earlier on. As far as our weather goes the next couple of days, really it's kind of the status quo. No major changes, mix of sun and clouds, maybe Maybe a stray shower or two. Then we're going to be looking ahead to that cold front that moves through. Not a lot of rainfall with the front. This is on Friday, about a 40% chance. We'll stay under mostly cloudy skies for Saturday, and the GFS does try and bring in kind of with a little Gulf low rain chances around for maybe Mother's Day morning and early afternoon. The Euro, as of right now, not calling for anything. At the moment, looks like maybe more South Shore on Sunday. But as I said, the Euro is not saying any rainfall. So put at a 40% chance right now. We'll see as that evolves. Maybe that we don't get a little disturbance that moves through and then we stay relatively dry. Hot for the next couple of days and a big change as that front moves through with drier and milder air as we continue on into early next week.